So for today's notes, I'm going to be going over how to prove triangles similar by the triangle congruence theorems. These are similar to how we prove triangles congruence, but remember, length doesn't need to be the same. So our essential question here is how can we prove two triangles are similar by using their corresponding angles and sides? So as I go through this, I hope you are on a sheet of paper taking notes to follow along. Um, there will be an assignment after you watch the video to complete for today. And then make sure you complete that assignment so you can get counted for being in class today. So our first triangle similarity theorem is the angle-angle similarity theorem. This states that if two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then the two triangles are similar. So if I think about it, triangles' angles add up to 180 degrees. If the first two angles are the same measure, then the third angle also has to be the same because it's adding up to 180. That other angle can't be a different number and still be a triangle. So here is my congruent, or here's my similarity statement. If angle A is congruent to angle D and angle B is congruent to angle E, then triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. And I use this notation, the squiggly line by itself, to say similar. My first example here is to determine whether the triangles are similar. And then if they are, write a similarity statement and then explain my reasoning. So if I take a look, I have one angle labeled on each of them. On the first one, I have angle C labeled. Well, actually I have two. Remember the red square means that it's a right triangle. So technically I have two angles on each and then one different measure for the different angles. So if I want to find my measure for angle E, I need to subtract from 180. So I have 180 degrees. I know that the corner is 90. And I know that C is 26. So if I go ahead and type this into the calculator, I would do 180 minus 90 minus 26, which gives me 64. So that means angle E is 64 degrees, which is the same as H. So I have this angle and this angle are congruent. And then I know the right angles also have to be congruent. So let's change my pen color to purple. So I know that this angle is going to be congruent to this angle. Then all I need to do now is write my similarity statement between the two triangles. So I am going to say triangle CDE, and then I want to match up my angles in the order that they are congruent. So I'm going to have my squiggly line to say similar, and then triangle, the angle that matches with C is the one I didn't mark up, that is K. The one that matches up with D has two purple lines. That is G. And the one that matches up with E is the one with the one blue line, which here is H. So my similarity statement is what I wrote in green. This one wants me to show that the triangles are similar. 
I have triangle ADE is similar to triangle ACD. I can see that angle B is congruent to angle C because they have the same number. And then notice they both have the same angle inside of them. They both use, oops, angle A. So angle A is congruent to angle A because of itself. This is the reflexive property. Anytime something equals itself is the reflexive property. So I am going to go back and write my reasoning um, for my green one. Um, angle B is congruent to angle C because that is definition of congruent. And then for angle A being congruent to angle A, that was reflexive. Then I just want to say that my two triangles are congruent. So I'll do that in red. Triangle A, B, or not congruent, similar. Triangle A, B, E is similar to triangle A, C, D. And this is by the two angle, remember, A, A similarity. Over on number three, I have two triangles and it makes a bow tie shape. Um, so the first angle I'm going to talk about is angle SVR and angle UVT. These two are congruent. Angle SVR is congruent to angle UVT. And these two are congruent because they're across from each other and they share a vertex by vertical angles. And then I see that I have two red triangles showing me that I have or parallel lines. SR is parallel to TU. So I can use a different color. I can use that these two are congruent. I'm going to do two lines because they're the second angle I marked up. These two angles, so angle VSR is congruent to angle T U V or V yeah V U T V U T and these two are congruent because they're inside parallel lines on opposite sides so alternate interior angles. Now that I have two sets of congruent angles, I can say that the two triangles are similar. So I have, let's not use orange. That was a bad choice. Dark one. I have triangle SVR is similar to triangle UVT, and this is by a, A similarity. My next similarity theorem is side 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 triangle similarity theorem. 
And what this one is, is it states if the corresponding side lengths of two triangles are proportional, then the two triangles are similar. So, in other words, if I can match up all three of my sides, in this example, um, the blue triangle is my new and the red one is my old, so I have new over old. I have AB matches up with RS. It should be the same scale factor as BC to ST. And those two should also be the same scale factor to CA as to TR. Then my two triangles will be similar. So here on number four, this one is asking me is either DEF or triangle GHJ similar to ABC. So what I want to do is I want to match up my sides. So I am going to start with, and this one's kind of nice because it matches them up with color. I'm going to see AB to DE, and that is 8 to 6. So that simplifies to 4 over 3. I am going to next check to see if the BC is the same as EF. So BC was 12, EF was 9. Both of those I can simplify and divide by 3, which will give me 4 over 3. And then I'm going to check on the last one. I have AC to FD. So I have AC, FD. AC is 16. FD is 12. Both of those divide by 4. So that gives me 4 thirds. That means triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. And then I want to go ahead and check to see if ABC is also congruent to JHG. So I'm going to go back and do all of the proportions for those. So I have AB. And I want to check it out with GH. That is 8 over 8, which simplifies to 1. Then I'm going to go check out BC and this one is JH, actually HJ. So I have 12 over 10, which simplifies to 6 over 5. So those two are not similar. triangle. I'm going to do BC and that matches up with EF. So now I want to go ahead and replace those letters with the numbers from the picture. I have 4 from AB, 12 from DE. BC is X minus 1 and EF is 18. So I want to go ahead and solve this like normal and I want to go ahead and cross multiply. So I have 4 times 18, and then on the other side, I have 12 times x minus 1. So what I want to do next is I want to go ahead and multiply these. Um, 
No, I already did. Let's do red. I want to do 4 times 18. I'm doing a second to figure this one out on a calculator. That gets me 72. And then over here, I want to remember to distribute my 12. So I have 12 times x, which gives me 12x. And over here, I have 12 times negative 1, which gives me negative 12. Then this looks like an algebra problem we've seen like last year. So I want to go ahead and add 12 to both sides, which gives me 84 on the left, and 12x on the right. So I want to go ahead and both, divide both sides by 12. And that gives me 7. So x equals 7. The last one we're going to learn about is side angle side similarity. So this is where I have two congruent sides and an angle in between them. That is also congruent. Um, so if an angle of one triangle is congruent to the angle of a second triangle, and the lengths of the side, including these angles, are proportional, then the sides are similar. So for example, if I have x is congruent to m, and then zx is similar to pm, so zx, pm, and then xy goes with mn, then the two triangles are similar. My last practice problem says I'm building an, a lean-to shelter from a tree branch. Um, can I construct the right end so that it's similar to the left end using the angle measure and the lengths shown below? So I know my angle is congruent because they are both 53. So that part is good. Congruent. Now I need to see if my two side lengths are similar. So I want to check my scale factor on them. Let's not use green on grass. So I want to check the 6 with the 9. So I'm going to put the left triangle on top of the right one and simplify that ratio. So that is going to give me 2 over 3. And then I want to do the same thing for the numbers on the right side. I'm, yeah, the right side of the triangle. I have 10 and 15. So I set up that. My scale factor here, those are both divisible by 5, gives me 2 thirds. So since I have the same scale factor, that means that those two side lengths are also similar. So this one is yes by side angle side similarity. 